Hey friends, welcome to another edition of A Single Girl's Gotta Eat, the cooking show. Today we are making zucchini Italian casserole in the crock pot. I've made this recipe before. It is so good. It's like super hearty and like Italian-y flavorings. If that's the way that we say that, it's not, but you know, we're gonna go with it. But um, you guys, this recipe is so, so good. And especially right now, it's a great recipe to use if you have a garden and if you're growing zucchini or if you have a friend who has a garden and is growing zucchini and you can get some from them. Like, use this recipe, you guys, it is a good one. Um, first of all, can I just show you guys my t-shirt? Be kind, be honest, be generous really important words for us right now in this day and age, right? This um, t-shirt is um, kind of like a memorial t-shirt. A friend of mine from college passed away suddenly in like March. I think it was March. And um, yeah, he just, he just left us too soon. He left us too soon. And his wife and a friend of theirs made these t-shirts to um, just kind of memorialize him, to honor him, to celebrate him. And these are some words that he would say all of the time. So um, you guys, especially in this political season, this um, a season of racial tension, no, no better words to live by right now. So um, Megan, love you so much. Chris, we miss you. Um, yeah, and you guys be kind, be honest, be generous. Okay. Let's get back to the recipe. Zucchini, Italian, Italian zucchini casserole. Casserole just has a funny ring to it. It makes me think of like my childhood growing up. We ate a lot of casserole, but this is like not your mama's casserole. I mean, it kind of is like, but anyways, just go with me on this one. It's going to be so good. First of all, crock pot. Cook this on low for four hours unless you bypass a step and cook your meat in the casserole. So I am running short on time today. This was kind of a last minute like, oh, we need dinner. I need to use up some things in my fridge. So I'm gonna make this recipe, um, but I don't have six to eight hours to cook it. So I um, cooked the meat ahead of time, right? So cooked a pound of ground beef. You could probably, yeah, a pound will probably be good depending on the size of your slow cooker but a pound will be good. So cook a pound of ground beef, get that all prepped and ready. And then you guys were simply layering in the ingredients, cooking it on low for four hours. We're gonna add some cheese on the top for the last 10 minutes of the cook. And you guys, that is it. This is a great, great, hearty, yummy, delicious, healthy recipe. Healthy is good, right? Um, okay, you guys, so let's just get right in, okay? So let me just tell you what I have. I have a pound of ground beef. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these in as I'm telling you, but you guys, this is like the simplest of simple recipes. A pound of ground beef that I've already cooked ahead of time, okay? So putting that in. I have, um, I ended up just doing two zucchini. The recipe itself calls for three, but we had gotten one from a friend of ours and it was big. So depending on the size of your zucchini, this is gonna be plenty for this recipe. So this is two zucchini just rough chopped guys like don't spend a lot of time on this spend 10 or 15 minutes to chop up your veggies you're good to go okay so two zucchini i'm putting that all in there um one bell pepper got that rough chopped throwing that in there um and here's where i'm taking some liberties when it comes to the veggies so i had a bunch of carrots that i needed to use so i chopped up a bunch of carrots you guys add in the veggies that you have in your fridge that you need to use up um, or that you just really like the flavor profile. I had um, an onion uh, that I chopped up to put in. And here's the thing, the recipe itself calls for a teaspoon of um, minced uh, dried onion, okay? Dried onion powder. Um, I'd rather put the regular stuff in, okay? So the flavor will change a little bit, but I just ended up putting in one chopped onion. Okay. Um, add in two cups of rice. Okay. Uncooked. Okay. We're going to add that in and then we're going to add in one can, get the 14, 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes. You could get Rotel, but you're probably going to want to use two cans if you get Rotel, uh, just cause they're a little bit smaller. 
but add it in with the juice. You're gonna add in one 16 ounce jar of spaghetti sauce. I have a 25 ounce that I need to use up, so I'm gonna add the whole thing in. So I might make it a little bit soupier, but that's okay, okay? So we're gonna add this whole thing in. You get the gist. And then for our flavorings, right? So again, the recipe itself calls for, which I will um, put in the comments, um, or actually in the blog post, um, the recipe itself calls for a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of garlic powder, no, a tablespoon of garlic powder, sorry, and a teaspoon of dry minced onion. Okay, switching things up a little bit. So I do have my Italian seasoning. I'm gonna add in a teaspoon, but a little bit more than that, okay? So I'm gonna do about two teaspoons. And I'm going with straight up regular minced garlic, okay, instead of garlic powder. Again, it'll change the recipe flavoring up a little bit, but um, I just prefer this way, okay? So I'm gonna put in a good amount of garlic. And you guys, essentially that is it, okay? So that's the entire recipe. Um, I'm gonna let this cook down a little bit and then I'm gonna start stirring it all to get the flavors to melt together. But again, you're gonna cook it on low for four hours. And then at the end, you're gonna get some mozzarella cheese, some shredded mozzarella cheese, about 10 minutes before you wanna serve it. Um, take the cover off, sprinkle the top with shredded cheese, pop it on high for 10 minutes, and then uh, it's ready to go, you guys. So this is a super healthy recipe. Um, it's got protein, it's got carbs, it's got loads of veggies. I mean, this is a great one uh, that uh, all of all, all of all, all of us single ladies are gonna love. This would be great for like a sharing meal as well. So you guys, that is Italian zucchini casserole. Thank you for cooking along with me. I hope you love it as much as I do. Please let me know what you think about the recipe. And if you want the full details um, of how to use it, what you should buy in bulk, all of the things, go to www.asinglegirlsgottoeat.com and this will be on the recipe, or this will be on the blog. The recipe will be on the blog. You guys, thanks for so much for joining me again. Man, I'm stumbling all over the words today. Thanks so much for joining me. I love it when you guys cook with me. I'm so super grateful. Just remember, a single girl's got to eat. It's just a single girl's guide to doing singleness well. Much love, and remember, be kind, be honest, be generous.